Hey, Psych2Goers, thank you so much for all the love you've given us over the years. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's continue. Have you ever felt guilty for doing things that made you happy or felt ashamed about something but didn't understand why? While it's important to acknowledge when you've done something wrong and apologize for your mistakes, sometimes you can get stuck feeling guilty over something that you shouldn't. The psychological definition of guilt is a feeling of deserving blame, anger, or shame, often evoked when we consciously hurt others with our words, choices, or actions. Excessively feeling guilty and blaming ourselves for everything is an unhealthy attitude to have, and it often leads to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and perfectionism. And if you're not careful, it can worsen into patterns of overcompensating and overthinking, as well as high levels of stress and chronic emotional distress. With that said, here are seven things that you shouldn't feel guilty about. Number one, not being perfect. Do you often tear yourself down for making common mistakes or coming up short sometimes? As frustrating as it may feel, the truth is none of us are perfect and we can't be good at everything we do, especially not the first few times we try something new. Albert Einstein put it best when he said, a person who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. When you beat yourself up over every little thing you do wrong, you initiate negative self-talk and devalue yourself. Two, asking for help. Another thing you should never feel bad about is asking for someone's help, especially when you really need it, because no matter how hard you might try, you can't do everything alone. Nobody has all the answers in life and nobody has it all figured out. There's no need to keep struggling in silence just because you're afraid of seeming like a burden to those around you. There's no need to feel guilty about reaching out to someone and asking for their help from time to time. It can be good to remind yourself that you're never truly alone in your struggle. Three, being successful. You should never have to apologize or feel guilty about achieving your own success. Accomplishments deserve to be celebrated, but some people may feel jealous or resentful towards you for being so successful and try to make you feel bad for it. Don't give them the satisfaction of getting to you. You shouldn't have to fail just to make other people more comfortable around you. You worked hard to make something of yourself and you should be proud of it. You do deserve your success and don't let other people take that pride away from you. Or saying no when you need to. It's hard not to feel guilty when we can't give someone what they want from us, but there comes a time when we have to stand our ground and assert ourselves. Saying no to things you can't or don't wanna do is a good practice in setting healthy boundaries for yourself. Otherwise, you might end up regretting your actions, hating yourself for it, and resenting the other people for ever putting you in that position. You deserve to be a priority in your own life. Your wants and needs shouldn't have to come second to everyone else's. Number five, removing yourself from toxic situations or people. Do you have anyone in your life who has always come to you with their problems? Someone who's constantly trying to suck you into their needless drama? If you answered yes, then you've probably wanted to tell this person you're tired of listening to their dilemmas and tried to distance yourself from them at one time or another. And that's okay. Getting caught up in another person's drama can be emotionally exhausting. So you shouldn't have to apologize for wanting some peace of mind every once in a while. Number six, ending toxic relationships. It can be difficult to accept that sometimes the people we love aren't good for us. But when you're in a relationship with a toxic person, whether that's a friend, family member, or significant other who mistreats you and exploits you, you owe it to yourself to cut ties with them. People like this are a negative influence in your life who will only bring you down and rob you of all of your happiness, motivation, and self-esteem if you give them the chance. By choosing to end your relationship with them, you're protecting your own mental health and emotional well-being. And number seven, wanting to be happy. Do you feel guilty for wanting to be happy, but don't know why? Do you find it hard to pursue the things that truly matter to you because of the judgment, negativity, and guilt tripping from the people around you? Whether it means chasing your dreams, being yourself, or taking care of your personal needs, you don't owe anyone an explanation for how you choose to be happy. After all, nobody has the right to ask you to prioritize them over yourself or sacrifice all your hopes and aspirations for their sake. So, do you relate to any of these instances? Have you ever felt guilty about doing any of the things in the video? 
If you are someone who struggles with a lot of feelings of guilt and shame, it may be time to stop and ask yourself why you feel this way. There is no shame in wanting what's best for yourself, even if it sometimes comes at the expense of others' feelings or convenience. And there are certain things that you should never have to apologize or feel guilty for. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.